Let's have a look at the various software options that are available for your LabJack. Uh, you can find the software options by going to the LabJack website and then under support you'll see software and drivers down here. So click on that link it will take you here. So there's a few options available in this course we'll be using predominantly Kipling which is this software right here and it's available for pretty much all platforms it works on Mac OS Windows and Linux and it's what we use to interact with uh, the device either graphically using this dashboard representation of the device or by interacting with the registers directly via the Modbus uh, protocol layer. Of course, this is hidden from you, but this is what's happening in the background between Kipling and the LabJack device. And there's also the Lua script debugger in here, which you can use to write Lua scripts. I've got a separate set of lectures where I introduce Kipling specifically and I take you through all of these tabs and, and capabilities and explain what they do. So I'm going to put this aside for now. To install LabJack, uh, you, the easiest way to do it is to go to this LabJack installer downloads link. Click on that and then choose the downloads button right here. And, uh, and then depending on which operating system you're using, uh, go for the appropriate installer. The one that I'm using is the release version of the installer this one right here at the moment is the latest one available uh, there's also a beta version uh, with experimental software that if you're feeling lucky you can try this out but i haven't really tested it so i'm not sure how reliable it is at this point let's go back uh, one level uh, so another thing to notice is that there is a different uh, set of installers for the t7 and t4 set of devices versus U3, U6, etc. So choose the one that's most appropriate for you. Inside the installer, uh, you'll find a number of discrete LabJack applications. You can go in, inside this page to have a look at those. So the installer for Windows in particular contains the Kipling software, but also two other bits of software, LJ Log M and LJ Stream M. So these two bits of software are, are very useful for logging data. So your LabJack can stream data from whatever you have connected to it and then uh, store the data in a text file such as a comma delimited uh, CSV file or tab delimited and then you'll be able to use it file and continue with the data processing uh, in an external application like a spreadsheet. You can download LJ Log M or LJ Stream separately uh, and outside of the installer. You can just go into their respective page, for example, and you'll find links here to allow you to download either one of those applications. This is what it looks like. In a lecture later on in this course, I do a demonstration of this particular beta version of LJ Log M, uh, which comes only for Windows, so it's not available for macOS or Linux. And then to get this particular version of LJ Log M, you need to come specifically to this page here and then download it by clicking on this link. It's not available through an installer, so you will need to download it separately. Uh, okay, I'll go back once again to the root page the software and driver and i wanted to show you one more thing and that is under example code wrappers so let's go into this page so because the t4 and the t7 are running a modpass server and are able to execute lua scripts on the hardware it is possible to interact with the device from a host computer via the network or via the USB, whichever option you prefer. And uh, LabJack has developed a number of very useful wrappers, software wrappers, uh, that allow you to do that in a wide range of programming languages. 
So for example, there are wrappers for in C, C++, LabVIEW, Python, Node.js, MATLAB, etc. In this course towards the end, I have provided lectures where I show you how you can use the Python LJM library and wrappers to allow you to write simple Python script that interact with the device via Modbus. And through that, you can also write Python scripts that can interact with the Lua scripts that are running on the hardware. It's a very interesting combination and really allow you to programmatically create LabJack based application using uh, the language that you are more comfortable with, whether it's Python or C++. Really, there's a wide range of options here, and all of them are equivalent in terms of what you can do with them and what kind of applications you can create for LabJack. So, uh, for example, let's say Python, uh, click on the Python link, and that will take you to the Python for LJM installer, which contains the necessary libraries and lots of example scripts, uh, scripts as well. You don't need to do this now. As I said earlier, I have a dedicated set of lectures later on in this course where I'll show you exactly how to install and then use this Python uh, wrapper for LabJack. For now, what I would like you to do uh, before you continue to the next lecture is to go to the software and driver page and then click on the T7 or T4 uh, download link and then download the appropriate release installer for your operating system. We'll be using that in the first lecture of the next section.